what's happening everybody so today I'm gonna to be finishing up two of the, uh, the leftover cabinets the bench and the uh, cabinet that kind of goes on the side that the bed slides out on it'll be my little table and everything so the bench part I put uh, I put these rubber feet I found at the Walmart on them and they're really thin but they will keep the bench from sliding and then on the side that uh, on the bottom of when I flip it up to support the bed I put these uh, heavy-duty felt pads so that it can slide really easily so that it's really easy to slide this thing across the floor without scraping the paint off or messing up my nice new uh, laminate floors. So I've got a big decision to make and uh, I'm going to have to cut out the foam before I make it. So I've got this quarter-inch plywood that I cut out for the lid and uh, it's just, it's really weak. It flexes quite a bit when you sit on it. I can feel it flexing and eventually it's going to break. So um, I thought that I would just add a cross support that rests between these three and attach it to this so that I have plenty of room to get in and out. But I'm starting to think that um, instead what I'd like to do is recycle this piece of wood, which is actually the piece of wood that was the uh, middle support on the bed before. It's much thicker plywood and when I set this on it, there's like no flex at all. So the thing is, is that this is like twice as thick as the old stuff and I added the rubber feet on this thing. So I'm worried that if, uh, if I use this wood, then it's gonna be too high up and I'm gonna hit my head on the ceiling of the, uh, of the van. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the, uh, the foam piece that's gonna sit on top and uh, I'm gonna cut out to fit this one and I'm just gonna, if I end up using this piece, I'll just trace this onto it. But first I'm going to cut the foam piece and set it inside the van on top of this thicker piece of wood and see if my uh, head hits the ceiling. So let me show you how I do this. So this is the foam from my old bed. Um, it's really nice, uh, thick, I don't know, just like fixed uh, foam and then it's memory foam on top and it's like the most comfortable thing ever to sit on. So this is going to be a really, really comfortable bench. So I've got the top piece which is uh, pretty much the template now of the uh, the top of the bench and I'm just going to trace it with the sharpie and then um, the way that I've found that is best to cut foam is actually one of these uh, electric knives it's uh, I think it's made for cutting up turkeys or something it's got two blades on here that come apart and then you just stick them in you could probably pick one of these up. If you don't have one already, you could probably get one of these at Goodwill for a couple bucks or some kind of second-hand store. And uh, it's really easy to cut this stuff. I just kind of hold it at an angle like this and go back, and that's it. Try and get a little bit of a sawing motion and try to cut straight. So this is with the uh, quarter inch plywood. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go any higher. My head actually hits. Oh, maybe I just need to. Yeah, I just need to let it settle a little bit. I guess it does hit just barely, very, very barely. Huh? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go any higher than this. Man, that's comfortable though. That's just the right height. Dang. Oh, that feels good, man. This is like the most comfortable bench ever. I could also cut a couple inches off the bottom of this and shorten this foam up quite a bit if I wanted to make it stronger. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? I mean, it'd be super easy to take a, like a couple inches off of this and drop it. Which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. It would still be super, super comfortable too. Super padded. Um... Yeah, let's see if I sit over here without it settling. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take. A, I think I'm gonna take a couple inches off of it and use that thicker plywood. I think that's the best bet. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so this thing is six inches tall by itself. So I'm gonna take an inch and a half off, and I'm just gonna go go around the whole thing and just mark an inch and a half, and uh, then go back around it connect all the dots and draw a line and go around it with that electrical knife and um, take an inch and a half off. Hey, if, uh, if anybody needs some of this foam, this foam is amazing. It was actually 
hundred dollar mattress. It's used now, so I'm not gonna ask much. But if anybody needs any of this stuff, just uh, send me an email or message me on Facebook or something. And uh, as long as you cover shipping, maybe kick me a little bit extra, you know, help out with the rest of the bills. Uh, I'd be more than willing to cut this stuff down to size and ship you some out. So I think an even better way to do this to make sure it's all uh, exactly the right. Oh no. Oops. Crap. I'm gonna have to touch that up. Uh, is this this one by two or whatever this piece of wood is is actually exactly the right height of uh, one and a half inches? So I just mark it and bam! Look how it lines up with all the uh, all the one and a half inch marks perfectly. Much better. And I laid this thing down flat because um, when it was up in the air, it was actually kind of curving on me. So I want to cut this thing super straight and not be all janky. Uh, it turns out that this knife goes about halfway in, and that's the reason why I made these lines is so that it's it's even. I don't want a, a sitting platform that's all janky and stuff. So I'm going to set this down flat um, and do it sideways and hold the thing at a per perfectly straight up and down, not this way or that way. And the reason is when I set it up this way, it curves, so it'll be really uneven. So I've got to cut it this way, and it'll be really easy to hold this thing straight up and down, not that way or that way, just straight and just cut all the way through. All right, so I think a king size mattress will fit that uh, fit that pad that I got perfectly, or not mattress, but um, uh, pillowcase. So I'm gonna get one of those, probably from Goodwill or something, and uh, now I'm just gonna trace this out and uh, cut out this thicker piece of plywood for the, uh, for the door. All right, so before I put hinges on this bad boy, I gotta sand it and paint it, cause uh, I don't wanna leave it looking like this. This looks terrible, it'll be way out of place. So I'm gonna sand and paint this thing tonight, but right now I'm gonna get started on the other cabinet. All right, so the reason why the last video was shorter than normal is because I spent like two hours getting doors on here absolutely perfectly, and then once I put it in, I realized that they wouldn't work at all, so I had to take them off. Uh, I got, still gotta pull these things out. These are the little uh, things that hold the cabinet doors in place, which I'm gonna use on that, uh, that bench. So, no cabinet doors. That means that when I go around a corner, everything can fly out of here now. So the biggest thing that I know I'm gonna have is, I know that this doesn't fit this way, it's gotta fit this way. Um, I'm gonna put wood down here so that stuff doesn't come flying out when I go around corners. And I'm just gonna use this uh, two by one or whatever the hell this is and uh, measure it out and cut it in so that it goes in this way. I'm probably down, but I wanna make sure that the water still fits. Okay, yeah, it's good. This is the biggest thing that I know that I'm gonna put in here, so this is, uh, this is good. All right, so I'm gonna cut these out and uh, put them in place, and I'm gonna paint these tonight too, actually, because I don't wanna have all this nice painted wood and then some that's not painted, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's the very last thing I need to do to this, and then this will be ready to go in. All right, I measured out uh, from here to the wheel well to wheel well because I want another piece of wood just like this one down here so stuff doesn't slide forward as well. So uh, I measured that out and I cut that out. Now I'm just going to take the piece of wood and press it up against here and mark where I need to do the uh, pre uh, countersinking. Hey, I remember the word, countersinking, um, before I paint it. All right, so I got this one screwed in. I got two screws on each side. That's in there real good. It's not going anywhere. And uh, this side is not gonna get nearly as much traffic and there's no room to screw any more screws in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand this down so that it's nice and uh, like raw wood. And then I'm gonna put some wood glue on here and stick it in here and wedge it in and uh, screw in this side. And it's, it's in here pretty good. It's wedged, it's got a lot of pressure on there. So this side will held, be held by just glue, and it'll be plenty strong. Wood glue stronger than wood, according to the bottle anyway. So I'm just gonna do uh, glue on this side and screw on this side, and uh, this cabinet will be ready to put in once it's painted. And it's real hot today, so I think it'll, uh, I, th I don't think it'll take very long. All right, so all these pieces are drying. I've got the uh, first coat of paint on all of them, and uh, it's so hot out here that they're just like drying like super fast. So I'll get all these done tonight and get the, uh, this bench in, or not bench, but a cabinet. And then uh, I, think, I think I might, that piece might be dry enough to put the hinges on this thing tonight. So this is a big moment for me. This is the first thing that I'm moving into the van that's not a cabinet. I'm really happy about this. Let's see how this thing fits. Oh, how much would it suck 
if I if I loaded everything up in here and the last thing was the fridge and I realized it didn't fit and I had to pull everything back out and fix everything. So I'm testing this now to make sure. And actually it looks really good. Yeah. That's gonna work great. Is this thing this seems like the handles preventing it from going back all the way. And this one's gonna be in my way because it sticks out a little bit. Um, I might take these handles off. Yeah, this is gonna work out just great right here. I got plenty of room in the walkway. I got this big area back here that's great to keep tripods. I can just keep my tripods right here and just have them super handy all the time. This is awesome. And the cabinet goes here uh, is gonna be hopefully low enough where I can still access this handle. And the fridge is still accessible at night, so if I get a if I get a hanker in for a late night snack, I'll be good to go. This is cool. Let's see if the piece that goes right here is dry enough yet. All right, so this cabinet's in place now. I got my fridge. Look at how much room I have for the handle. It's just absolutely perfect. I got my vent holes are totally open. This thing can vent all at once. This is so cool, man. I got my spot back there for tripods. I'm gonna have a bench here. Tonight, it's gonna be like ready to put in. Um, I was checking out this pad to see if it would fit on top of here, and it doesn't. So it'll have to stay on top of here for the night. So I just got a bunch of little stuff left to do. Uh, well, actually, I'll, I got a lot left to do still, really. But uh, as far as like the inside of here being done, oh, I got an itch. It's so hot out here. Everything itches. I think it's allergies or something. But I gotta put the uh, piece of lube on. I gotta cut it out and put it up right here. And then I got something really cool for all these screw holes and all the spots where I missed and these little marks and stuff for the ceiling. I'm gonna leave it unfinished. I'm just not, I'm not gonna bother finishing it. I had raw lu on in here before and it didn't grow mold on it, it was fine. Um, but yeah, I got like a bunch of more uh, vinyl trim that needs to go up in like little spots here and there. And then the back doors and the side door I haven't even touched yet. That's gonna have to come off. I think I'm gonna take the whole thing off and uh, do it while it's off. I, I gotta figure out how to do it. It's a bunch of weird angles and stuff. That'll be another video. Huh, what else can I do tonight? Little stuff. This is the best part. This is when you start putting stuff together and like actually seeing it. This is so exciting. This is this is so freaking cool to me. Love it. God, I can't wait to get this thing on the road, man. All right. Yeah, let's see what else I can do. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do tonight is install this piece. It goes in here, and this is a really awkward angle to be at. It's really uncomfortable. Ugh. So I'm gonna do it as fast as possible. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and I hope you come back, and I hope you like and comment and subscribe and all that jazz. So uh, keep it real. Love yourself. done this from the beginning. Oh. Uh, at least stuff won't be good flying out. Uh.